So we're gonna try to vlog sort of day in the life of a personal trainer. Plan is to kind of show you what I do all day, client by client. Show you with the life of a personal trainer. <laughs> well, maybe just a couple today. But let me know if you guys like the style of video. Throw me a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of them. But very important part of being a personal trainer is getting there before your client, being punctual. Don't be that trainer that sort of drags his ass in with a cup of coffee, half asleep. No, it's your job to bring the energy. You know, they can be tired, but it's your job to bring the energy. Here we are, two factor. Let's go. This is victim number one, Miss Jill, optometrist. 24 kilo, let's go. Boom, no problem. 53 pound kettlebell. Okay, we're doing dead cleans first. Boom, 20 kilo bell. Get that, Jill. Three, one more. This is round two, what do you think, Jill? I think, do you wanna to go to the 18 kilo bell or stay at 16? I think you can do the 18. All right, get it up, here we go. That's an 18 kilo. Three, change side. Go for it. One, two, three. Boom. Fixation going on here. Five. Seven. Four. This is a banded chest press. Lean forward a little bit. Core stays tight to maintain that position. Floor press with bicycle. Head remains up, core remains tight. If you can touch with the elbows even better. Last couple. Okay, we got it. <laughs> How many more? Five. <laughs> One more. One more. Let's go. We're doing these for 30 seconds. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Easy format. Five seconds, let's go, let's go. You know, getting there early allows you to do a couple things. If you need to clean up at all, there's, if the gym's a mess, if there's any setting up to do, if you have any waking up to do, it allows you that chance to kind of wake up and do your thing and get ready. That way you're not wasting the client's time. Get there early, be punctual and be awake. All right, short and sweet at two factor. We're on to 24 hour fitness. Down at 24 hour fitness. And we're gonna hit some upper body with Leah. Hola. Yo, Leah, what's the goal today? Pull ups. Of course, all four barbell stations are being used and the boxes, so no go on that. Have a good later. Oh, you dug that third one out of the basement. All right, we're headed off to the beach now. We got some sessions at the beach. It's a hot day, man. But we're still gonna get our running in, bust some Bulgarian bag, some kettlebells, some ropes, kind of whatever comes up, man. It's cardio day, so let's have some fun. It's hot, get a little sweat on. Boom, let's do it. Like I was saying, you always gotta get to your sessions early, especially if they're outdoor sessions because you gotta kinda scope the place out. Where I was originally set up, there's a bunch of suspicious, weird looking people over there. And I'm training a female, I don't want any problems, safety first. So we're gonna change locations and uh, we're still gonna do our run, but uh, we're not parking over there, you know, we're not hanging out over there. That way your client's not uncomfortable or their mind is focused so much on the suspicious people around them that they can't focus on the workout. So just a little tip. All right, we're stringing together laps two and lap three. No break, just a little walk down the stairs. Let's get it, Leah. <laughs> three down, a couple to go. Whew. Whew. We're doing like a triathlon of sorts. Event one would be the running, event two would be the abs and the Bulgarian bag, and event three would be the ropes. So section one, done. Section two, let's go. All right, that's five rounds on the run up that big Bama Jamma and down five times, 23 minutes. Next time we do it, we're gonna try to beat it at 20. 
Now we're moving right on to a circuit for the abs. 10 reps on the ab crusher, 10 reps on the Bulgarian backspin, and then a classic body weight mountain climber, 15 reps. We're gonna keep moving for three rounds on that and just keep this cardio coming. That is a 22 pound Bulgarian bag. I changed my mind. I wanted to go with a heavy Bulgarian bag and we're doing seven reps. So 22 pound bag, two, three, four, five, six, change directions. Speed is your friend here. Really work that thing behind the head. Three, four, five, six, seven. 15 per side, 15 per side. Classic mountain climber. Round three, round three, one more. Stretch out, pop up, three twists. I want 10 of these things. Last couple, just like your first couple. We don't panic and speed up at the end, we keep them clean. We got seven of these things. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep that pace, keep that pace. Same speed. Two, three, four, five, six, stay fast, seven. That's her. Three sets complete, excellent. As hard as you can move those ropes. Go, 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 Hard, 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 hard. Bingo, hard side to side, hard side to side. Like a firefighter untangling his hoses. Exactly, get some aggression out like you're slamming a med ball. Big slams, big slams, big slams. Three, two, one. Hey Lee, I don't know, that kettlebell sitting there looks like it needs a swing. Let your head come down a little bit as you hinge into it. There we go. How many? 15. Boom. Just for reference, this is the hill that we do our runs at. It's right at the end of Junipero where it crosses at Ocean. And it's a great view, but this incline here is nasty. It takes you somewhere between 90 seconds and two minutes to go from the bottom to the top of this. And at the very top, there's a set of stairs where you walk down. And it's a, it's a great little five lap run where it's all inclined on the way up and there's a small little break at the end. 